welcome back to a vintage vanity and uh, yeah you guessed it I'm super excited about today's hair tutorial but before we get to that I just want to say a huge huge thank you to my newest patreons over on my patreon page a huge heartfelt thanks to Donna Melinda and Tracy your support really does mean the world to me if you haven't already been over to my Patreon page, I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. Patreon really is just a way to help me continue to make great content on this channel and actually be able to take it beyond what it is now. So that means more videos here on YouTube, but over on the Patreon page, you get extra little goodies, you get extra videos, extra blog posts, and even on some tiers, you can donate from a dollar a month all the way up to more than that. And some of those tiers will actually include handmade gifts by me. Ho -ho. Um, so please feel free to check it out. And with that, let's talk about how this fabulous hair was created. It was actually inspired by a look of Ginger Rogers in the movie Heartbeat. It is gorgeous when I saw it. I knew I had to do a tutorial. So let's see how to create this look. For this look, I went ahead and did an overnight wet set using my favorite foam rollers and Jane Carter's Wrap and Roll. And if you want to know how I do my wet sets, I will place a link up here. As well, if you want to know a little bit about the Jane Carter solution, I recently did a smackdown on it against another product, and you can see that link here as well. But I'm going to go ahead and start to carefully unroll my curls. The setting pattern for this was basically everything was rolled under. Everything on the sides and back is all rolled over. Under everything on the top is rolled back. To separate the crown section, I'm gonna do it at a really deep part. So just past the corner of my forehead. A bit of a U shape there. You want to make sure that is about even and there we go that's our crown section and I'm just gonna clip this away we'll deal with this later we are not gonna brush through our hair we actually want to maintain as much of this curl as possible so I'm just gonna start actually separating the curl from itself so we go from being Shirley Temple to fabulous 70s disco curls. <laughs> Taking my Lady Luck Smoothing Serum, I'm just going to drop a little bit of that into my hands. And again, I don't really want to pull through the curl, so I'm just going to scrunch it, you know, like it's the 80s. This is going to help to cut down on some of that frizz, and because my hair is bleached, is providing nourishment to my ends as well okay now I'm not gonna mess around too much with it right now but basically the first thing you want to do is decide in which direction your part is going to go and mine's gonna go from this corner over to this side now take a little bit of your favorite pomade I'm using one by that's made by Colleen um, and I'm really digging it so and I'm just kind of running that along the side there so it looks nice and smooth and sleek because we are now going to brush that back and then I'm pinching it kind of giving it a little bit of a twist and pushing slightly forward on it because we don't want it to be completely tight to the head you want it to have a little bit of volume and then right where my fingers are pinched we gonna place in a bobby pin. Now, um, when I bobby pin a side like this, I'm pinning from the back towards the front and kind of hiding the pin in the hair here. And I'm crossing my bobby pins as well so that they hold really, really well. But now I want to create a little bit of definition because it's a little bit frizzy. It's a little bit, whew, you know, whoo. So again, Take a little bit of your favorite pomade, just get it on your hands, just do a little bit of it, and then we are going to start to take small sections of curls and just run the pomade over it. And as you go, you just want to give it a spritz of hairspray. You really want that hairspray to get into the curls. You don't want 
I don't want the curls completely separated and uh, crazy loose as they are over here. So I'm actually just working with the brush to kind of join some of those um, curls together again. That one's too uniform. I feel like Goldilocks right now. Like you guys are too uniform. You're not uniform enough. But I feel like it's a fine line. Then you're gonna pretty much do the same thing over here. For the back of the hair, we just kinda wanna push the curls down to the base of the head. So I'm just making sure everything's brushed nice and smooth and down towards the bottom. And now for the very crown of our hair. I am brushing through it, brushing the ends so they're nice and smooth and together. Well, that's a look. And we're going to start to back comb. Mm-hmm. Because you know I like it. And um, we are going to want a lot of volume here, so I'm just taking my rat-tailed comb. <laughs> Teasing brush, why did you leave me? And I'm going to back comb pretty much the entire length of the hair. Give it a spritz of hairspray. And then move to the next one. And you want fairly thin sections of hair that you're back combing. And then you are going to back comb all the way to this corner. Okay, once everything is back combed, you're just gonna give it another spritz. And you're and then you're gonna wait for it to dry. Now, because I am without a yep, you guessed it, teasing brush, I'm actually using this, it's a Olivia Garden brush. Meh, it's okay. Um, the reason why I'm liking it for what I'm going to do now is I'm going to smooth the outside of the curl. And this, unlike a Denman, Denman, the bristles are so um, hard that it is really hard to lightly go over the hair without pulling out a lot of the back combing. So I like to use something that has really loose bristles because it's not really going to get and brush through everything. So I'm just lightly brushing the outside of the hair on all sides of the hair. All four sides. Now, what I'm going to do, and you guys have seen me do this a lot, now that I've got like this kind of swoop right here, I'm just going to place my hand underneath it because I definitely don't want to pull that height out, but I do want to make sure everything's smooth, and then I want to make sure the ends are actually brushed through all the way. Then, you're going to take a little bit more of your... Palmade. This is a palmade heavy kind of hair style today, ladies and gents. And we're going to run that over the top of the hair to get rid of any flyaways. And here's the thing. You're going to gently place the hair down so you get that nice big swoop. But you also want to check the back of your hair. basically want the the hair to kind of wrap around the back you don't want to see a big hole back here now got her hair wrapping around the back we got our big swoop and we are going to put in a bobby pin right there right there And these, you are not going to care if they are seen or not. So now, fluff up that hair a little bit. These ends of my hair, your hair might be um, short enough that it just kind of stops there. But if you're like mine and you have a little bit more extra hair, again, you want to comb through the ends to actually make them nice and smooth. And then what you're going to do is to really nail and pull this look together. 
um, you're going to need an amazing hair flower. This one I had custom made for me by Nikoko Creations, which I will put a link in the description to her site. Um, but you don't have to have something long like this. It's fun if you do. But you could also line up individual flowers as well, and that will look balls. So basically, I'm just going to slide my flowers right in that dip. And there you go. I'm gonna give it a little spin round for you. So that is today's hair tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. As always, in the comment section below, let me know what you thought of today's look. And let me know if you've seen Heartbeat with Ginger Rogers. You won't think you're gonna like it as much as you do. It's, it will utterly charm the pants off of you. So, you know, be careful who you're watching it with, right? I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye. And here's where I tell you all the things. Go ahead, click on my face to subscribe to this channel. That way you won't miss a minute of what goes on here. If you want to shop my clothing line, click on that gorgeous skirt you see right there. And, of course, you can check out my last video. And thanks, guys.